It's Monday, folks. Word up. So how's it going, people? Hope we all had a good weekend. Spent most of all mine writing up notes on a course that I did last week with Sean Cannell with the YouTube Influencers. And trust me, it was one grueling mission, it was. But absolutely brilliant though. Now they taught you everything about optimizing your videos, video content, all that sort of thing, how to do your thumbnails. It started last week, Tuesday, and it was on every evening. And they went up to Saturday, they did. So every day up until Saturday, they had the Sunday off. Tonight is the sixth day, and then they've got another day tomorrow, and then a bonus day on Wednesday. Looking forward to it. It's really, really cool. It's helping me out so much in all my videos how to optimize my videos and everything especially now that i've just started this youtube channel as well so it's going to be absolutely brilliant i also spent last week creating a trailer for my youtube channel i've had a few since i've started this channel i had a few I've, you know you've got to have a trailer on your video i've had i've done a few the first one i did right was just of me standing there talking about it and everything looked absolutely boring as hell it did and then the second one i did for my facebook cover and i uh, placed a video up in the facebook covers that you have at the top uh, and I did use a video for that, which is really cool. So I thought, let me just try that one out. Because basically, when you do a trailer, you need, you need to have, like, you know, you need to introduce yourself, what is your channel about, and a call to action, too. So I had to combine all of that. And what I basically did, I thought, well, everyone's doing that sort of thing. So let me try something different. Did that, you know, I got a couple of subscriptions out of it, which was really, really cool. But I've just done a new one. This one is absolutely epic. It is, it is absolutely brilliant. You know, I, I, heard this, I heard this track. The original track that you will hear on that video was actually for the lion time lapse drawing that I've done. But when I heard it, I thought, you know what? This sounds like it would be a really good intro. So I listened to the track, and when you watch it, the whole of that video was from my thought. It was. It was from you know, thinking of it. Um, I, I watched the. Uh, I listened to the track, and then while I was listening to it, I was writing down what would fit into that beat, into that small little section, and um, so everything was from memory. It was, you know, and everything was from thought. And uh, so I'm, I'm listening to this track, and uh, I, uh, I think right now this bit, this bit were good here. Um, at the beginning of it, that would be great for my intro. The uh, the last bit of the track would be really good for the uh, the outro of it. The middle part would be good for putting all my information in of what my channel is all about. So I pieced it all together, and, and then I've, I've done transitions, I've done cuts, I've done also uh, color grading it. <coughs> Excuse me, the lot. And it's a really good little video. Check it out. There's a link in the description down below as well. Check it out. Tell me. Let me. Let me know what you all think of it. I ain't no video editor or anything like that. Everything was done from watching YouTube videos and piecing it all together. So I'd love to know what you all think of the video. Or if anything else you want to be talking about, anything to do with drawing or sketching or anything like that. If you're having troubles with um, whatever you're drawing, you know, if you're having difficulty knowing what pencil grades to use, what paper to use, how you should draw this, how you should shade this, or anything like that. Let me know, you know, send me a message on Instagram, on, on Facebook, you know, you can send me a message, uh, or you can send me an email, you know, you can do any of those things, you know, and I want to know what you guys are up to, what you guys are, where you guys are at with your drawing stages, you know, where have you got to, what part are you drawing, you know, let me know, either in the comments down below or send me a message, it would be absolutely great to hear what you guys are doing yourselves as well. The more I get into this, the more I want to be doing more things on my vlogs as well. You know, I don't, I don't want to just be talking about myself. I know I'm doing that a lot. That's because you know I've just started this channel. I want people to see that, see the journey that I'm going through in creating this, in creating this channel. Start this channel with with nothing on it, and slowly each week I'm putting up new and new content. I'm learning new things every week as well. So. I know a lot of the time in my vlogs I'm talking about myself, but that's because I just want to get, keep you guys updated on the journey that I'm doing. But I will eventually start talking a lot more stuff to do with art gallery, pencils to use, the work that I'm doing, the drawings that I'm doing, all that sort of stuff. I will be uh, describing them a lot more in detail with my vlogs as time goes on. I also launched my kids gallery last week too, which is a new feature I'm going to be doing for my, for my vlog. And it's a small little section I want to do, and basically I want to be getting people to be sending in their kids' work that their kids have been doing at home into me um, by post, though, not by message or digital image or anything like that, by post. I want them to be sending me in their kids' work so that I can showcase it on my channel and then put the picture up onto my gallery. It's going to be a great thing for the kids, and it also gives them an insight into what kids' TV shows used to be like back in the days when we used to watch TV, and also it is like 
the Tony Hart Gallery. I have to mention that because that is what the idea is all about. It's about the Tony Hart Gallery. If you don't know what that is, it used to be it's a TV show that used to be on in the 80s with a guy that used to do a lot of art. It was absolutely brilliant. He'd have a little character with him called Morph. And one of the segments in the show, he'd show kids work that they would send in and he would tell the he would say the name, their age, and what they used to draw it and it was brilliant it was a great little influence for kids you know to be doing their work making them a little bit ambitious and being creative as well and what better thing for a kid to see is actual their real work not some digital image but their actual work up on that tv screen being held by that guy and being you know that's their name being said as well great thing for kids the link to that feature is actually on my website which is just in the description um, down below here so click on that, tell all your friends, tell your neighbours, tell everybody, get them sending in their work to me. I want to be showcasing their work just like how we used to do back in the day. It's going to be really good. Can't wait to do this. I'm going to now crack on now. I've got a lot of things to be doing. I'm going to start a new, uh, not start a new project today. Um, do all my emails, all that sort of things. So I'm going to be uh, putting my finger out. I'm going to start getting that dude. I'm going to start getting that sorted out right now as we speak now. So everybody, have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your week. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Click the bell, turn on notifications so you know when I upload a new video. You'll be cool, have a good week, and I'll see you on Monday. Take it easy, people. Peace out.